Hey guys, wouldn't it be nice to tow a trailer with your Honda Accord? If so, you're going to need to get some trailer wiring done. It's required by the law. Let's break down the installation process. You'll need the tools seen here to complete this installation. Our wiring harness is located in the taillights on the driver's side and the passenger side. In order to gain access to those taillights, we first have to remove the flooring and the cargo area. The next step is to remove the rear threshold by pulling up. Using our trim panel tool, we're now going to remove two push pins located here and here. After removing the push pins, our next step is to remove the rear lining. Now let's remove the taillight cover using a trim panel tool. Our next step is to remove these two bolts using an eight millimeter socket. With our two bolts removed, we can now remove the taillight by popping it out. To disconnect the taillight, we're going to push down on this tab on the top and then pull back. And then we're going to be using a trim panel tool to pop this up and we'll repeat on the passenger side. Back on the driver's side, our next step is to remove the grommet and push the remaining wires through. With the wiring now on the interior, we're going to plug it in to our yellow, brown, and red T-connector. With our wires now on the exterior of the vehicle, we're going to cut our grommet, allowing room for the T-connector wires. I'll be using black silicone to cover the slit on both sides of the grommet. Next, we will reinstall the driver's side taillight. Make sure to keep the harness in this area of the taillight in order for the taillight to go back on smoothly. Now we're just going to take our green T connector and route it to the passenger side, plugging it into the tail light and repeating all of our steps. With our wiring connected and the taillights back in place, we're now going to ground our white wire. We're going to ground the white wire using this existing ground here, doing so with a 10 millimeter socket. Now we're going to take our U-Haul exclusive black power wire with a protective lumen and connect it to the black wire on the converter box. And we're going to use a heat shrink butt connector. Now with our black power wire connected, we have to bring it to the rear of the vehicle using this grommet right here. Now we're going to cut a slit in this grommet, allowing room for the black power wire to rest and sealing it with black silicone. Our customer requested the four flat be left in the trunk, so we're just going to leave it next to the spare tire. 
So now we're done in the cargo area and let's go ahead and put everything back together. Now underneath our vehicle, we're going to route our black power wire to the engine compartment, removing these two bolts on the heat shield. And we'll take out these two screws using a 10 millimeter socket. Now with our power cord above the heat shield, we're going to reinstall our bolts. Okay, now we're gonna tuck our wire along this panel to another heat shield, unscrew the bolt here with a 10 millimeter socket, and as we did here, tuck the wire behind that. We're gonna continue routing our power wire along the heat shield. The power wire is going to come up next to the brake reservoir and we're going to route the wire along the battery to the positive post. So now we're going to plug our power wire into our fuse holder. Now we're going to take our ring terminal and connect it to the positive post by removing this nut with a 10 millimeter socket. Now we're going to place our 10 amp fuse into the fuse holder. So we have a lot of extra wires. I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap and zip tie them and tuck them in right here next to the fuse box. If you have any questions about this product or if you'd like to schedule an installation with a U-Haul Hitch professional, visit your closest U-Haul Hitch Center or visit us at uhaulhitches.com. Hey guys, thanks for watching. That wraps up this video. Have fun and I'll see you out there.